Sub YouTube, welcome back to another video documenting my journey to legend. I've never hit legend before and I'm hoping to do so for the first time this season. If that's something you think you'd be interested in, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. Before we get started with the battles, I want to give a huge shout out to the following four people. Ashis Limbu, Oside Knuckles, Zion, and KK Wade. Thank you guys as always for your support on the channel. It really, really means a lot. And now on to the battles. As you can probably tell from the title, I have been torn asunder. Um, yeah, it's not looking too good for me, guys. This video is going to be pretty much all losses, except for maybe one or two battles. And as you can tell from my ELO, I have gone from about 2670, which was my highest this season, back down to basically veteran. By the end of this video, I will be at veteran. I'm showcasing all these losses, hopefully in an effort to see what I could have done differently. But I even while battling, I wasn't able to tell where I went wrong. I think it's just poor team comp and not wanting to use the like heavy, heavy meta Pokemon, even though I'm using Gyarados and Snorlax and Metagross. Um, I just, I wasn't catching a break. I just, I, I couldn't find my rhythm right there. I probably should have fought for Switch. Um, I could have shielded Snorlax and then came in with, uh, uh, with the Metagross. Um, or, or yeah, yeah, had had the Metagross aligned onto the Florges and you know my my Gary onto this Exca. You're gonna see in this video we run into a lot of Exca drill and a lot of Haxorus leads. And maybe if I was running Dragon Breath Gyarados, I would have had a better time, considering I am also running um, Snorlax with the appropriate move set, right? So as a pivot Pokemon into a pretty hard counter it might have done me a lot better than than waterfall Gyarados I think I was running waterfall because I was running into a lot of well Excadrill leads but also a lot of uh, fairy types just things that were sort of weaker to a waterfall Gary I come in with Haxorus because I don't really have a response to this in hindsight I probably should have stayed in with uh, Gyarados chipped it with a crunch gotten a shield out of it and then came in with Snorlax. Um, I know it seems counterintuitive, but in the one shield, Snorlax does pretty well against Haxorus. And with Haxorus so low in health, it might have done me even better. I still think it's a overall just a poor alignment of Pokemon. I'm not able to catch my rhythm. Here I come into Snorlax. They do give me a bit of a fighting chance by taking a while to swap into Excadrill since it really didn't have anywhere to go in these Pokemon, but I have to use a superpower to take it out. And while I am able to farm it down before it reaches the next drill run, I'm just, I'm locked in. I'm gonna take excessive charm damage. These body slams aren't gonna do enough. My opponent's not gonna shield any of these body slams. And it's just, I'm not able to, uh, to pull a win. I come back in with Gary. I thought maybe I would see MP tie, but my opponent's smart to keep farming. And there's just, yeah, there's nothing I can do at that point. So, yeah. As you can tell, I had a pretty bad day in GBL because I had so many favorable leads. And I think this is the only Excadrill lead running Waterfall Gary that I won. Whether that speaks to me as a player or this team, I don't really know. You guys can let me know in the comments. I'm personally just blaming myself and you know, maybe being in a, ma a bad mindset uh, is probably indicative that you shouldn't be playing. But I wanted to get this video out just to show that I am struggling to reach legend. And as much as I appreciate that you guys have a lot of faith in me. And while I do think that I will be able to hit legend, it's definitely not going to be easy. Um, so we come back in with Gyarados to absorb some of this damage and get ahead on energy. And as you're going to see, it's going to be pretty useful. But again, Excadrill lead with a Waterfall Gary, and this game is going to be incredibly difficult to win. They have a Dragonite running Dragon Breath, uh, which is pretty usual, and I don't think I was going to reach that next crunch, so I just try to get off as much damage as I can, and my only win con here is one that they throw an immediate superpower, which I don't really have to shield, right? I'm at full health, so this is going to hurt, but it's better than... Uh, this uh, drill run which will take me out so now I have a shield I kind of lost track where they were so I think I throw the, the earthquake right away yeah I think maybe they were one off and they would have uh, I forget who wins CMP 
Um, and now I need to make a catch. My only win con and they throw the freaking superpower. Uh, the only Excadrill lead I won that came down to the wire. Look at all these Hexorus leads. If I was running Dragon Breath, this would be a different story. But I'm not. And smart of them, they go straight for the Dragon Claw on the first one because it'll do more damage. Just got stabbed. I I don't know what happened there. I could have sworn I was going to beat them to that crunch, right? Like, I just, I, I don't know what happened. Um, maybe I miscounted or something. You can see the spinning ball of death in the top left corner. Haxorus's tend to shield the first move, so I've started to bait, and it's been working out pretty well. I come in with Snorlax. They swap out, which is fine. Uh, and I think I go straight for this, and then I'm going to catch a move on Metagross. <laughs> And we catch the wild charge, which is pretty great. So now we're at half health. Lucky for me, my opponent is is throwing straight wild charge, which I admire, I respect. And I'm going to shield up this next one. And let's see what I do. I Oh, they, they actually catch on Haxorus, which is beautiful because this thing had loaded energy. And so they go down with all that energy. And that was that was fine by me. Um, I I didn't want to throw um, a meteor mash there because it, I don't think it would have taken out. It's double resisted. They throw another wild charge, which is great. I can throw this body slam just to take this thing out. And now I'm hoping that there's something I can beat in the back with Metagross. And there sort of is. But as you're gonna see, I build up to the back to back. I have them right here. My opponent is close to the. I just need them in meteor mash range. I just need them in meteor mash range. But as you're going to see, by the CP, <laughs> I lose the CMP. That was uh, an unintentional rhyme, but... After that battle, I switched Metagross to my best buddy. I had Gyarados as the uh, best buddy because of that Snorlax matchup. Which, honestly, I don't know how many Snorlaxes I faced, but it did end up coming a little bit in clutch. I called the bait here, expecting them to superpower and dip, but honestly, superpower at that health range didn't do anything. I build up to the Outrage, I'm not running it anymore. But all these people are ballsy as hell. And Outrage doesn't KO, so, you know, it's not like they're going to lose here. They're at the back-to-back -back Dragon Claws. So I'm either going to go down two shields and probably still lose. So I just decide to let it go. And maybe I should have came in with Metagross and gotten the lead. But I come in with Gary. I tank this Dragon Claw. And I forget what they bring in. Hmm. Oh, Snorlax. And, yeah, I go for the Crunch. Hoping for the debuff so I can bring in Metagross. And what do they have in the back? I, I I somehow managed to catch a body slam, which was pretty great. And they have a Gary in the back. A waterfall Gary at that. Ah, I was Man, I was so tilted during these battles. It was I was just not in the right state of mind. Honestly, I feel like when I'm playing my best. It's because I'm able to accept that some of these losses come down to either poor matchups or misplays on my part. But in this game or in these sets, I just felt like I was losing because I sucked. Mm. And I just couldn't get the lineups that I needed. I, I wasn't sure how to play certain matchups. I don't have that much experience in the Master League. And I think because of that, I just end up losing a lot of these leads. Dragon Breath Gyarados would have been great here. Would have been great actually in a lot of these uh, leads. Because we didn't really run into many uh, fairy leads. And Excadrill's not terrible running uh, Dragon Breath. Right? Like you, you might have to shield and maybe I can make a catch and come back. And here I make another insane mistake, right? They're going to farm me down, but instead of going for double body slams, I go for a superpower. And I'm not going to get to a body slam. And it would have been much slower in health. I might have been able to farm this thing down. And that probably would have helped me. Because you're going to see that in the back, they have an extra drill. And they bait me with dynamic punch. You ugh, was so mad. So, so mad. I honestly don't know why they shielded here. Like, they could have just saved two shields for extra drill in the back and they would have had this. I come in with Metagross, they don't let me farm them now, they come in with the Exca, and at this point I'm just feeling petty, I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna use the shield here, and I'm gonna bait, and then I'm gonna back out, because I was feeling, oh wow, I guess, I guess I took over the Earthquake. 
Yeah, uh, and then I back out right as soon as they attack. So, yeah, I was just I was just raising the middle finger to my opponent at that point because I was so upset. Um, they have a Hexorus lead. This isn't as bad as you would think it is, but it would be so much better if I was running uh, Dragon Breath. I do allow myself to CMP here, and I throw the Aqua Tail, and you're gonna see that they're gonna shield because Hexorus is super glassy. And I think they beat me to this next move, and I shouldn't have shielded this. I, I should have I should have known they were gonna go for Night Slash. And I should have let it go through. And they catch. Which, insane, right? Insane that you have such a pretty dominant lead and you would give it up. Uh, you would give up switch. They're a little bit chipped, but I still need to land uh, some superpowers here. I wait for them to throw their energy before I launch these superpowers. I'm not baiting. I just need to get this damage off. Snorlax doesn't really have anywhere to go against that Haxorus. So. Um, I have a Hundo Snorlax. It's not best buddy right now. But I was hoping that I would win some CMPs. And I win this CMP, which is pretty great. And I undercharge it because I'm hoping that I can get some farm with Gyarados now that our Switch Timers are back up. So I come in with Metagross. I think they get to the superpower. I forget. They do, but it's I think it was already debuffed. I don't, know, I don't even remember. Um, I know they're gonna CMP with me because Haxorus is love to CMP. And I just I just need to get rid of this thing. So I was I was okay with taking CMP. I don't need to take any more unnecessary counter damage. Here, I don't think I'm going to reach a Earthquake, so I just go straight for the Meteor Mash, and now I'm going to try to bamboozle me a play over here uh, before I get farmed down. They throw some energy here, and I think my mistake was not coming in with Gyarados. But not only that, I get that one turn lag, and because of that, I can't touch my... I can't hit my move, and it just... Ah, oh man, that, that sent me even even further than all these other ones. Uh, so this final set was a one in five, you know, pretty, pretty freaking great. And as you can see, my ELO at the bottom is like 245, and then we dropped to 2505. So I'm back at veteran, back where I started. I guess it could be worse. I could be shit. Um, I could be dead, right? But, uh, but yeah, I was, oh man, I was so upset today. So, so pissed off. But I wanted to get this video out there for you guys because one, I feel like I want to vent, right? This whole channel was started because I wanted to journal my journey. And yeah, you guys are along for the ride. So, you know, hopefully you don't think uh, much less of me. <laughs> I, based on all the leads and team cops I was seeing, there is one Pokemon I want to run that I'm going to invest a dust in. And that video, as of this video dropping, I will do the battles tonight and hopefully get that video out for you tomorrow. And I'm hoping that I can climb with that because otherwise I just Master League isn't my forte. I I don't really know what to do. Um, it's it's like it's not a foreign meta, but it's just a foreign it's a foreign league to me. And so if you guys have any teams that have helped you climb that maybe you're maybe I have the Pokemon uh, built or, or something like that, I would really appreciate any feedback, honestly. Like I said, I'm, I'm always looking to become a better battler. And clearly today was a, a pretty, pretty shite day. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope my complaining wasn't too much. Um, I just want to be real with you guys. I don't want to lie and, you know, act like uh, this is, this is going to be easy because it's uh, anything but. So I appreciate you guys as always. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.